tripod situation gets sketchier and sketchier every time I try to film a video. What is up guys? This video is literally so far overdue and I have absolutely no excuse. For those of you who don't know, I had the amazing opportunity to visit the Warner Brothers studio tour um, for Harry Potter in London back in July. And it was literally one of the best days of my entire life. And I really wanted to make this video that was kind of like an in-depth showing of like everything that goes on in the tour with me also kind of like talking about the experience like from beginning to end. I want to make a quick disclaimer. I do want to just go ahead and say that there are some parts of the tour that are like very magical and very cool and I know that some people kind of wouldn't want it to be spoiled for them if they like so if you know you're gonna go in the next year and you're like big on you like surprises you like to not really know and you like to just like be in the moment I probably wouldn't recommend watching this video because I'm literally gonna say like everything that you see and show you most of it but um yeah i just kind of want to get that out of the way there i've been talking for like one minute and i'm already out of breath oh my god <laughs> so i guess i'll just kind of start at the beginning so whenever you go on the studio tour to london you need to make sure that you book tickets like way far in advance i think i got mine like two or three months in advance because it definitely fills up um i know the first time that i went to london i was trying to go and we didn't look for tickets until like three weeks before we went and they were like completely sold out so the tour is not actually in London, it's a little bit outside of London. So uh, it actually requires that you're gonna take a train and then once you get to the train station, you have to actually take a shuttle bus to the tour. It sounds super stressful and I was super stressed out about it. I was like, where are we gonna find this bus? Like, how are we gonna make it on time? How are we gonna know which bus is the right bus to take? But it's super obvious, right? When you walk out of the train station, they have like these giant buses that are like wrapped in like Harry Potter related stuff, like Hogwarts, all this sorts of stuff. It's very obvious. So you'll get on the bus and I think it's about like a 10, 15 minute ride there. Um, on the way over there, they had this video playing of um, some of the actors and stuff in the films, you know, talking about, oh, you're about to go to the studio tour, like, you know, just kind of welcoming you there and showing you some little like tidbits of the kind of stuff that you're gonna see there um, to kind of get you hyped up for it, which was really cool. So whenever you pull up to the actual studio tour, it's basically just this massive warehouse on this huge cement lot, which like, I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah, I mean, it's literally just a huge metal warehouse and it has a big sign above it that says the making of Harry Potter. Um, but in the little cement lot, it's super cool. Also, like, there's this little wall kind of surrounding the whole lot and it has pictures of newspaper clippings from like the Daily Prophet. And right in the middle of the courtyard was the actual chess pieces from the Sorcerer's Stone from the Wizard's Chess scene. So whenever you decide to go into the actual tour, um, you'll kind of wait in this little line and you'll show them your tickets to get in. Everybody that worked there was super nice, super helpful, like showed you and welcomed you. It honestly felt like Disney World, but a whole lot better. Right when you walked in, they were advertising the new Fantastic Beast movie, which I am so excited for. Uh, that was kind of the first taste that you get to see of um, actual costumes from the movie. That's kind of what you see right when you walk in. So after the little front entryway where they had all the Fantastic Beast stuff, you kind of walk through this long tunnels and it leads you to this big room. So every couple months they switch out these different exhibits and they focus on some different movies. And luckily while I was there, the exhibit that had literally just opened was for The Goblet of Fire, which was so perfect because that is my absolute favorite book, favorite movie. Yeah, right when you walked in, they had a giant like model of the Triwizard Cup. It was all lit up, it was blue, it was so beautiful. So then you will kind of see everybody's heading in a certain direction in the corner of this big area. Um, there's a little line to wait in to start the actual tour. And right there where you're waiting, they have the legit cupboard under the stairs that Harry lived in. Like, it's literally like they ripped it out of Privet Drive and set it there, which I guess they basically did. But yeah, it's so crazy. It was literally right there. And then you'll walk in, they have a little waiting area, and um, then you'll sit down in this little like movie theater setting. And um, this is where I don't want the magic to be spoiled if like someone wants to be surprised, but um, they basically show this little video clip that's kind of like, you know, them making the movies and it's like Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grant, they come out and they're standing in front of like the Great Hall and they're telling you about like their experience filming here for 10 years and how they loved it and yada yada. And then kind of at the end of it, it's like a couple of minutes long. At the end of it, they kind of, the doors kind of open and they walk into the Great Hall and they close and then the movie screen actually like rises up and the doors of the Great Hall are like right there and you actually get to like walk up to it and um, a lady comes out and she asks for like a volunteer to open the door 
and you actually get to like open the doors and walk into the great hall right there like it just starts like bam like the magic right from the beginning and I was just like oh I knew it was gonna happen because I'd watched videos but it was so incredible to watch those doors open and walk into it and like you know actually feel like you're like in Harry Potter in a part of the movies so that was really really awesome so the great hall wasn't like completely lined with tables like it is in the movies which made me kind of sad because that wasn't like you know that's how you always see it but they did have like one table maybe two and kind of all along the sides of it they had um, some different costumes of like people from the different houses and um, up at the front they had all of the teachers like standing up there Dumbledore right in the middle and like all of their legit costumes from the movies and that was just like so crazy to see and because they were doing the Goblet of Fire exhibit that month they had the actual goblet up there at the front and they did a little thing the lady that was working there she did a little um a little showing i guess and it actually like the goblet kind of like spit out a piece of paper and it was you know either cedric or floor or victor or harry but um you actually they had a little pile of these papers that you could take with you i took like 10 of them low-key because i was so excited um little crumpled up papers that say Harry Potter like they came from the Goblet of Fire which is super cool like this was such a cool souvenir to keep so yeah I think the Great Hall was definitely like an amazing start and like the most perfect way to start the entire experience but from there you kind of they open up this door and it brings you into just this massive room of this warehouse and there were so many like set pieces and props and like wigs and just like all this stuff for you to see that like if I tried to show everything and talk about everything we'd be here for three hours so I'm just gonna talk about the three kind of sets that blew my mind the most that were my favorite and then I think I'll do a little like music montage of the rest of them um, but the first one was the Gryffindor common room they had a set of uh, not only the common room but also like the boys bedroom where they stayed and it was so cool to see like the fireplace and like the chairs and you know they had little models of like Harry and Ron and stuff like that and the amount of detail that goes into this stuff is just amazing I'm gonna say this about like every single set but um, you could literally you could tell whose bed was whose like you could tell Ron's had like the hand knitted quilt on it and um, you know all the like Chudley can and stuff on his bedside table and like Neville had stuff from his grandma and like it was just super cool to like look at all the little details and then the next set that blew my mind was Dumbledore's office so they had the actual model or the actual you know entrance to his office where you say the password and it brings you up and everything they had that for you to look at and then they had his actual legit office and this once again the details in this were absolutely mind-blowing all the pictures they had all around the office his desk like all his little like knickknacks and trinkets the thing that honestly blew my mind the most about his office was the little like pensieve area they had the little cabinet um that had the little glass cabinet that keeps like all the memories and stuff in it and literally every memory was labeled like it had a person's name on it had the memory like stuff that you literally couldn't see like maybe you get a glimpse of in the movie but the fact that someone like took the time to come up with all of these and make all of these it's just everything about these set pieces like there's so much thought and so much love that goes into it and it just like i don't know it got me all like in my feels when i was there and i was just so so cool like dumbledore's office was absolutely amazing and then the set that probably had to be my favorite just because snape is my favorite character i have a little place in my heart for him the potions room was so cool it was like so dark and kind of dingy and you know it looked like a dungeon which i assume it's like kind of supposed to be um just all the little like different shapes and bottles that like are old looking and all the ingredients like once again all labeled perfectly and all over the place and the tables and everything like it was such a cool room they actually had um snape like a, a little model of him and his actual costume and wig from the movie made me super sad on the inside because you know like rest in peace Alan Rickman it's still weird that he's dead um I know some people like there's mixed feelings and emotions towards Snape but I absolutely love him from the beginning I loved him he's got to be my favorite character ever so yeah that was really really cool to see so yeah besides that there were like a million more amazing sets and props I'm gonna do a little like minute or two music montage to kind of show you the rest because if I sat here and talked about them it would take forever
some different like props and uh, interactive bits and things like that you kind of went into the forbidden forest area i mean it was like the legit set like full on like big fake trees and um there was like fog and stuff coming out of there and it was super dark and creepy and you kind of walk through it it's like a little pathway with all the trees and stuff and you kind of come around a corner and uh you get to see buckbeak and uh, it's kind of like an animatronic little version she like bows and stuff and looks at you and yeah you just kind of got it to like look at her and then you went around the corner and they had like Aragog's kind of like lair and that was like really creepy actually it was kind of like an interactive thing where he like comes out and then a bunch of like his creepy little spider children kind of come down and super scary like honestly a child would be terrified <laughs> So from there you get to go into the kind of like Hogwarts Express nine and three quarters area, which was, oh my God, so cool. Honestly guys, like they have this tour organized in the most amazing way that it just gets like more and more amazing as you go throughout. Like they know how to make you like see something and be like, oh my God, this has to be the best part. And then you go to the next part and you're like, oh my God, this is the best part. Like it just gets better and better. Like the more you go through it. Yeah, you walk out and you see like, the actual Hogwarts Express and it's like steaming like it's ready to take off and they have um, a bunch of signs of like the nine and three quarters that you can take pictures in front of and then um, you can actually go into the Hogwarts Express and they have a little scene of like Harry and Ron for the first movie like eating all their candy and stuff but this part literally made me cry because um, they had they had a side-by-side -side kind of image of like the first movie and like the last scene and you know them getting on the express when they're like 11 years old to them you know putting their kids on it at the end and that literally made me like shed a tear because obviously these actors like actually grown up like grown up I can't speak English I'm sorry they actually like grew up throughout this process and you know we grew up as we were watching the movies also so yeah super emotional so from the Hogwarts Express area you go into like I kind of call this like the intermission. It's a little like cafe that you can go into where you can get butter beer. And I believe that they said it's one of the only three places in the whole world that you can get butter beer. So absolutely had to get some. It was my first time trying it. And I mean, it pretty much tasted how I expected. It was super good. It was kind of like cream soda, vanilla-y, butterscotchy. Um, super, super good. You could get it just kind of regular or like a frozen form, I think, with like ice cream in it. So after you go through the intermission, you kind of go into like the outside area, which like was mind blowing, just like I'm gonna say about everything. Um, so right when you walk out, you see like the actual night bus, which was huge and so cool. You really couldn't go in it, which made me really sad. You could kind of stand on the back of it and take a picture, but you can't really actually get in. But um, I absolutely love the night bus. I got like a little model of it to take home with me because I just thought that was so cool. And then after that, you see like actual privet drive which blew my mind because i kind of always thought like as a kid that these were just real houses you know i didn't think that they built like this legit little neighborhood for this movie and you can actually walk into the house and um they have this little scene set up in there of all the like hogwarts letters flying everywhere and um I mean, yeah, like the legit house, like that's it. Like that's where they filmed it. You can actually walk in there, which was obviously super cool. And then from there, you kind of start to walk further down the lot. And this honestly had to be like, <laughs> it's so hard to say what the coolest thing was, but this was mind blowing. They had like the legit Hogwarts bridge. Like it was literally like they tore it off of Hogwarts and set it right on this like cement lot. And this bridge is seen in like, so many iconic parts of the movies and you could walk on it and it was like twisted and turned all the boards were kind of like coming up and stuff and like literally my heart was like fluttering when I was on it I was like this is so crazy like so many scenes were filmed on it and it was so cool that it was like a legit bridge that you could walk on so then from this lot you kind of walk into like the final building which is kind of the big finale of the whole thing when you first start to walk in they have a whole little area that's like about the different beasts and stuff from the movie like the hippogriffs the phoenix like they have some different like masks and like replicas and stuff like that that you can see and this is kind of a lot of the behind the, behind the scenes stuff like blueprints and things like that um you kind of walk through that little area and then you get to walk into the legit diagon alley literally my heart was exploding i have never in my life I, I was like a little kid in a candy shop like they had 
all the buildings. I mean, Fred and George's like joke shop, like Ollivander's, like they had everything and you could actually like walk through it. And once again, like all the details, like in the windows of these shops, like all the stuff hanging, like, and all the little individual like wand boxes and Ollivander's window, like they had Gringotts and you know, it's all like crooked and twisted like it is in the movies. And I mean, yeah, literally I was in complete awe. I just like went silent when I walked in there and I was just like looking around. I could have stayed there for hours. It was just completely incredible that they built from scratch this like huge, amazing set for this movie. And um, yeah, I will never forget walking through there. It was so incredible. So then from Diagon Alley, you walk through another little area that shows you a bunch of blueprints of like set pieces and stuff like that. And this is the big final moment where you walk in and you see Hogwarts, like the actual Hogwarts. And um, for those of you who don't know, um, Hogwarts is not an actual castle. <laughs> I know it's sad. Um, all the scenes that they filmed outside are filmed at like other castles in like England and the UK and stuff like that. But every time you see Hogwarts as a whole, it is actually like this model that they built. Yeah, it's like little, but also big. It's definitely not the size of a real castle, but yeah, you kind of like walk in and you get to like look down on it. And oh my God, literally there were tears in my eyes. Like that was another thing that I could have sat there and looked at forever. All around the room, they had um, little videos playing showing you like when this model was, you know, used in the movies. Cause anytime you saw Hogwarts full on, like in the movie, it was this model in front of you. And they were obviously able to like edit it and make it look like it was snowing and like change like the weather and the daytime and stuff like that. But once again, just details galore, like the little bridge and just like all the little rock formations and every little tower there was and um, just all sorts of stuff. Like you could walk and look at it from high above and you could walk down below, you could get so close to it. And it was just so cool. Like I am so jealous of the people that get to work at that studio tour and just like stare at Hogwarts all day because it was absolutely mind blowing. Like. I think I could go back 10 more times and I would still be mind blown by it. So from there, you kind of walk out and they have a little area that looks like Ollivander's basically it's like wands lined up everywhere and it basically brings you out into the biggest, most amazing gift shop you've ever seen. I am planning on doing a video, if you wanna see it, whether you do or not, I'm gonna probably film it, um, of all the stuff that I got at the studio tour. It was a lot. I spent a stupid amount of money, but honestly, no regrets because I love everything I got there. Yeah, guys, that was my experience there. It's something I will literally never forget. I want to go back so badly because as much as I loved it, I feel like I was so focused on like taking pictures and taking videos because like I didn't want to forget it that I wish I could go back and just kind of like enjoy it and kind of be there in the moment. But yeah, if it's ever something that you have the opportunity to do, like it's amazing. Like you will feel like I don't know, you'll feel like you're in a dream world. So um, definitely recommend that you do it. Any of you that are wanting to go, I sincerely hope that you get the opportunity one day. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if it was like stupid long, but um, I plan on having some more Harry Potter videos coming soon. So if you wanna see those, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you soon guys, bye.